Hey John, got a job yet? No sir. I oh, know John, so do I. I feel as though I've been left on the shelf. Yeah. I feel out of the social circle of things. Yeah, life would be a real bore nowadays. Wait a minute, why don't we get a job? Yeah. Let's look in the situations vacant of the newspaper. What a good idea Sid. Look. Somebody requires a shelf filler. Hey, that'd be really interesting. I think I'll apply. But you haven't got the right qualifications, Sid. Oh, yes, I have, John. Oh, no, you haven't, Sid. Oh, yes, I have, John. Oh, no, you haven't, Sid. Look, I've got four A-levels, one in architecture, six O-levels, including computer programming, and two CSEs, one in sociology. I also hold a full current HGV driver's license. And don't forget, I was a part-time brain surgeon. Surely I'm qualified. But Sid, you're only six inches high. How are you going to fill the shelves? I mean, you have to stand on your tiptoes to tie shoelaces up. Oh, no. I hadn't thought of that. Never mind, Sid. Ow, that hurt.
Afternoon, sir. Hello there. We're doing a survey about unemployed in Malcolm Aubrey. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? No, that's okay. Well, how long have you been unemployed? I've been unemployed for about a year now. Well, what, what is it like being unemployed? Well, it's a bit boring. I mean, you don't find very much to do, you know. It's not as though, it's not as though you get a lot of money to sort of go out and do things, you know. Do you find it difficult getting a job? Yeah, it is in Melton. I mean, there's not, there's not sort of very much industry in Melton. There's only sort of places like Pet Foods, I suppose, and they're sort of going all computerised and things now. What about the careers office? Do you find it useful? Yeah, I mean, I, I go down there occasionally, but that's more for school leavers, really. How many jobs have you written off for? Well, in the last, say, six months, I've written off for about five. Well, how many interviews have you attended? Mm, two. What type of jobs are you interested in? I'm interested in sort of uh, electrical things, hi-fis, uh, sound systems, theatre lighting, that kind of thing. Okay. What facilities are available to the young in Melton? Well, there's things like um, YTS programmes, community programmes, uh, youth clubs. Okay. Do you find the job centre useful? Yes, I find the job centre very useful, actually. I'm just going down there now. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Ask you a few questions about YTS. Yes. How many people are currently enrolled in the YTS program in Melton? We have had 134 who have actually enrolled onto the scheme since last Easter. Yeah. Um, what percentage of the people on the YTS obtain a job at the end of the scheme? Last year we had the very good record of over 80% of the trainees who had been on the scheme became employed either before during or, um, or after. Yeah. Um, are there any complaints about um, the jobs that the trainees are doing? Yes. I think uh, when they first start work, they really don't appreciate what it means. And so they come in, and I'm talking about to start with, before they really appreciate what it's all about. Yeah. They come in saying that they're doing all the boring bits, they're doing the just typing envelopes, they're being asked to sweep the yard, I'm always being asked to make the tea, why does nobody else get asked to make the tea? These sort of comments. Um, and then it's explained to them that it doesn't matter who you are, whether you're on YTS or whether you're starting as an employed person, when you're the, the youngest one in an office or a garage or wherever, you get all the menial and the boring and, and the dirty jobs to do. Yeah. And it's something that they have to come to terms with. But the work itself, um, no, they all thoroughly enjoy it. We have no complaints. They love being at work. Yeah, so you recommend it for people leaving school as a good experience to go on something like this? Yes, I really would. Unless um, the youngster really wants to go in for a career where they need A-levels, more O-levels, um, courses held at colleges, university, uh, when, of course, obviously, they must go and pursue that. Um, other than that, if they can't get themselves their own um, permanent job, which, of course, is very difficult now, then there is no better answer than YTS for them to get that work experience in a place where they wouldn't have the opportunity otherwise and uh, to get some off-the-job training at college and here. Yeah. Um, so there's been a good response in right now people joining the scheme? Yes, very much so. Um, I believe that it's much better in and around Melton than it is um, countrywide, where some areas have had problems getting the youngsters to want to come onto the scheme. I think it gets easier the longer you go, you go on, because then people can see what you're trying to do. Yeah. They can see last year's trainees and how much they enjoyed it. They can talk to them. They don't have to take my word for it. Uh, they can see from the trainees how well they've done and the fact that so many of them have got jobs and uh, parents talk. And so it does, it gets better each year. Yeah, um, what do you think of the government's idea of introducing a sort of conscription to the White House for school leaders? Yes, I've got mixed feelings about that. Um, 
I hate the thought that people are going to be coerced into doing something that really they've, uh, they're just going to come along and be sullen and disgruntled and, and just be a nuisance. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, however, I think um, it does take people quite a while to appreciate what we are trying to do and that we are really committed to the young and to um, getting them trained. Um, and I think once we can get these people who don't really want to know about YTS in, sit them down, talk to them, uh, let them talk to other trainees, let them see just what we are about and that you know, we do care about them, that we're not here to abuse them and use them as slave labour, then um, I think we could change their attitude. But if someone really doesn't want to be on it, even after that, um, I don't know, that could cause problems. As I say, I've got mixed feelings. Okay, all right. Thanks very much. You're welcome. Okay, Sid, so come on, it's your go oh, now. Come on, you oh, go. Oh, right. it's in the party. Yeah. It's only a good one. It's the last time. Harry's been talking about it. Who wants to go? Come on, you oh, on. Come on, Sid. Oh, no. Somebody to throw a six. Come on. Wake up, Sid. Hey, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, that leads me to Demons. Four. One, two, three, four. Hey, that takes me to Turner's. Hey, don't forget to collect your gyro as you pass go. Great, I'll be able to afford a cup of tea now. It's my go now. Three. One, two, three. It's okay, I'm only visiting the doll office. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, a chance. Go to interview. Oh no, I blooming hate interviews. Another five. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, that takes me to Tesco's. As the situation's vacant here, great. I'll have a go for that.
Right, gentlemen, interviews. Uh, no, 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 Right, gentlemen, we'll let you know. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, Jenkins, take him away. Oh, yes. Put him back on the old dumbbell they belong. <laughs>